No, I feel good. You know, I'm excited about it, excited for the opportunity. Yeah, excited as you can be. Coach, how, how do you feel uh, the reps are with, with all of your receivers and stuff like that? Going good? Uh, yeah, it's been going great. I mean, I've, you know, Trev's been banged up for the last several weeks. I've been able to get some reps with those guys that throughout practice, throughout the last several weeks. So it's been good to kind of uh, just build on that for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just just a lack of focus. Uh, I think for the most part is uh, just not locking in enough and um, making just dumb, stupid little little ticky tack things that that we should be better at and we will be better at. So it's been an emphasis uh, going into this week for sure. Mentally, how do you handle having to prepare and see Trevor go back in? Like, can you try to kind of balance that might be going on? How do you mentally prepare for that? Uh, shoot, I mean, I think I've had a lot of practice at it uh, for the most part. I think the first time it came up, you know, it was kind of a little uneasy just, you know, trying to figure it all out. But, like, you know, that's, that's part of the game is being a backup. You, you truly don't know uh, when you're going to be in, when you're going to be out. It could be one play. It could be you could be in for an entire game. It could be one play. And um, you just have to, to roll with the flow when it comes to that kind of stuff and, and just go with it. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think any game experience you can get helps uh, helps you in the long run. Um, it definitely felt good, like being out there and, and kind of getting a flow of things for sure. Who stands out the most from the camp that you played against? Uh, they got they got a couple, a few really good young young players, uh, Burns, uh, JC, the, a lot of guys. Um, I think they're underrated uh, on uh, you know they don't get a lot of the, the worldly love and, and stuff that they should get. Their defense is playing at a high level, and, uh, you know, they've been really close in a lot of games, and the margin of error between wins and losses is, is so fine that, um, you know, they're not getting just blown out each and every week. They're, they're really close, so it's it's a thing that we gotta we got to lock in and be ready to go this week for sure. How does this team get their confidence back when it feels like everything's kind of going wrong? You're just getting an early lead. Like, what do you kind of attribute it to? Yeah, I think just, just it's a mindset to start, uh, and you know I think just knowing that what's in front of us still is is something to look forward to. The fact that we still are you know in the lead of our division, that we have so much to be playing for, playing for a playoff spot and to win the division. That you know our goals are still right in front of us. Uh, you know it's not like we're out of the hunt anymore. It's it's they're all still right there. So we have so much to play for. We really just have to watch the last four weeks and and uh, learn from it and get better from it, but but just move on and start anew for sure. Does it feel like once you get one win, everything will settle a little bit? Absolutely. I think all it takes is one win to get, to get rolling again. And, uh, you know, I've been in this league for a long time. You go through lulls, go through slumps, and uh, it takes one you know one game to get, get you going, and, and that's what we're going for this week. Every game is important, but obviously you know, you'd like to win every game. Do you sort of have that kind of you know, must-win type of mentality approach? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would say it's a must-win game for us. Uh, you know, if, if we want to be where we want to be in the next couple of weeks, at the end of the year, uh, this is a game we have to win. Yep.